Now today's a fun day as I'm bringing the paper mask off the wall down and bringing in ox cart block bench work. Whoa! It's already been done. As you know, I film the end of the video first, or the first of the video at the end, so I know what I'm doing. So let's just get to the video and we'll do a little rewind back to the beginning of time when we still have the paper mask up and the shelving for ox cart block is not in place. Do you wanna join me? Let's do it. Well, today's gonna be a big day on the layout. It is a milestone event. In my mind, it's not that big of a deal, but to me it is. Now I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. If you focus your attention over here, you'll notice the mask. Remember Eric from way back long ago who had issues putting this stuff up? Well, we're gonna find out whether he did a good job or not. We're pulling this down today. Not a big deal, just pulling paper off the wall. But in my mind, it's a milestone. I've been waiting to get this down and seeing what it looks like, seeing um, as it comes together. And we can move forward on this project at in the Oxcart Block in Salt River Valley Yard. So I'm gonna get started by taking this down. Now the question is, should I start down there or should I start down there? Um, I think I want to start down at that end. Here it goes. Let's see if I screwed up or not. I think the only screw up I do have, if you look, I have some rolling stock on or in Salt River Valley Yard. So I hope that doesn't interfere. And my big worry here, and I don't think it's going to be an issue as we crinkle this stuff up, is I don't want to peel the paint off the wall. But my fear of it actually sticking to the wall because it's been there so long is not an issue. It's actually pretty well stuck. Um, kind of getting worried, but I'm just yanking it. I don't think I'm going to have an issue. My biggest fear now is knocking over the train. Check that out. Let's say this is about time. Let me get rid of this really quick. If you haven't noticed, if you look at the floor, I cleaned everything up. It's getting really nice in here. I'm gonna take this outside really quick and I'll be right back. Now one last thing, let me grab it. And where did it go? Here it is, right here. Granted, I should probably clean this up and paint it, but Put the vent cover in. Circulator fan is on. I'm gonna wipe this thing down. This is just filthy. Let me grab a paper towel and clean that up. A little bit of Windex, ammonia style. Yeah, it's got um, just paint residue all over it from our time painting, so might as well clean it. And I should have actually cleaned it before I put it up here. It's probably filthy on the inside too. Call that a project for another day. I'll probably take care of this off camera and clean it up. So if you're ever wondering what that hole is, that's just a pass through vent from the other side of the train room to get air circulating in this hallway. The air conditioner is over there, as most of you know, and it just kind of keeps the flow in here. But, that looks good. But, let's go one step further. 
hang on, look at this. The first part of the ox cart branch we started months ago. So we'll set that back in place. Look at that. Boom. We'll get another piece. All right, got some more. I actually shouldn't be putting this back together, but I want to see what it looks like. And I do believe this is, nope, oh wait a minute, yes it is. There we go, turn it around, this should go right here. Oh, we got more. I guess it's a piece. Now, I might not have thought this one through because the next pieces are fairly good size. So I need the curve for here. All right. Now this piece is kind of big. It's a little bit awkward probably bang it on the ceiling and everything but all right look at that boom and that's all leveled out one more piece now I got the final piece I'm sorry if you can't see me install this because it's the part that goes around the corner so let me go put that in place and I'll be back All right, I did come across a problem. That last piece, because the way I laid it down, it was sitting on the edge, it kind of warped a little bit. I think um, once I screw it down in place, it will fix it. Almost elbowed that stuff. That would have been bad. But we're looking good. I mean, hey, I got something else to show you. Just because it has that hollow there for running the wiring, I still got <clears throat> the wall that will go up here. I need to finish printing all these out. I might change the design, but I'll have this wall going here. Like I said, I might need to change it. It might be too close to the tracks. Where's my gauge? Stuff should clear it anyway, but it's just right on the limit. So, but in most cases, you look at the cars, they're not close to it because we're not on a corner or a turn and we're not, well, I hope so anyway. Let's see what we got going here. Oh. Not on the rails, there we go. That is tight, so. Don't be taking a leak here on that wall because something flying by here will take you out. So, as you can see, progress is being made. So I hope you appreciate that kind of stuff and something to share with you guys if you haven't known for a while now I've only had one merch this old yellow cup if you've ever watched you'll find this guy sitting somewhere in the background a lot of the videos out of weird serpent out of strange circumstance I ended up getting stickers is that kind of cool so if you are a member and you see your name right here, contact me so I can get you your sticker. I mean, it's nothing great. It's still a sticker. It is cool. It's exclusive to you guys, uh, my Patreon, and what do you call them? YouTube members. So if you want one of these, Patreon and YouTube members, send me an email, contact me, give me your address, and I will get you your sticker. And thank you for all your support and just helping me out and keeping this thing going. So it's a small token of my appreciation. It's not great, 
but I do appreciate your help. So I'll just put that big old guy right there. Hey, and if you have nothing else better to do, check out this and this. I made those videos, by the way. So click on them, watch them. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Oh, that sucked.